Hello everybody, Ian Robson here. In today's course play tutorial, I'm going to show you how to seed a field and then refill the seed. All right, so as you can see, I have my tractor right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start the, I'm actually going to record the, I'm going to set up the, the actual seeding course uh, starting from this corner right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start my recording of my refill course right here as well, just so it's as close as possible so it knows exactly where to go. So let's go ahead and start recording the course like so. So this is the course I'm, re I'm actually uh, recording right now is the refill course. And then we'll set up the actual seeding of the field next. So this is the refill course. We're just gonna go ahead and drive down here like so. And then we're gonna drive right around where the seeds are, which is right up on here on Westbridge Hills. So here's the seeds right here. So we're gonna drive right past this and we're gonna make sure we get nice and close to it. So just like that. So you wanna make sure you ha give yourself enough space depending on the seeder you're using. So that should be more than enough space, I would imagine. All right, let's drive back onto the field. And then we're gonna stop this course. Let's go ahead and get back to that starting point. We're just gonna follow the same basic path back because what you're gonna do after this fact is it's gonna just continue, it's gonna go back to this starting point right here uh, and then it'll go and refill the course. So let's say, drive onto the field like so. So this once again is the refill course. Let's go ahead and call this uh, refill demo, okay? So now we have that as the refill course. So what we're gonna do is we're going to, this is field number 16. And this particular cedar is, I believe, six meters wide. So we're gonna go ahead and just verify that. So it's five meters. Let's see what it says now. So six meters, so we'll leave it at six meters for the time being. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just put a little tiny bit of seed in here just so you can see the course in action. I should have done that this the first time, but I'll show you what this looks like in a second. So we're gonna go ahead and grab a little bit of seed, just like 10, lead or something along those lines, just a little tiny, tiny amount, just so you can see the refilling aspect of it. So here we are, there's 100 liters, perfect. And so what we're gonna do is we have this set up right here at six meters. I already have this particular field calculated. Uh, there it is, 16, so this is field 16 we're driving onto. We wanna start in the same corner we were in, which was the southeast corner like so. We want to make sure we're heading west, which is, so this is the southeast corner. We want to make sure we head west. And what I want to make sure you do is you return to the first point activated, okay? So let's go ahead and generate that course, like so. And there is our starting point right there. And as you recall, we started recording the refill course right from around here. So let's go ahead and put these two courses together. So this is the refill demo, like so. And We'll put it in the correct, motion, put correct mode, which is the fertilizer and seeding mode. And let's go ahead and line him up just so he will show us how it works out. So let's go to the first waypoint like so. And let's set him to drive course. So it needs to be refueled soon, that's fine. So as you can see, it's going to the first point. We're just gonna plant wheat here. Uh, we'll put ridge markers on manual, doesn't make a difference. All right, so there you go. He's gonna start seeding now. Once it's lowered down and good to go, there he has it. And that's gonna start using up that seed right there. And as you can see, it's gonna slowly use them all down there. And once it's all said and done, it will go and return back to that seeding course. And what you could actually do is in, where is it here? In this one right here, in our statistics, you can actually set it so it refills to a certain amount. So you can have it so it sets only to, let's say 30% or 40% and then it drives on a certain amount as well. So you can reset it there if you want to, uh, if you think, if that's something that you need to do. Uh, also, another possibility is you could set it so you have a headland like so, so that means it'll drive around the field. In this case, this will be a headland before and then if you switch it around, that would be a headland after whatever you want it to do. So here we are, 86 liters, almost halfway done, or more than halfway done now, or the amount of seed we actually put in. So depending on the type of seeder you're using, so in this case, this is a small seeder, 
it's going to take a little bit of time to make that turn properly. And you may miss a little bit at the ends like so. In this case, we didn't miss that much, but we'd missed just, just enough. So here it's going down to 72 liters like so. And it's going to slowly, slowly, slowly whittle that down until it's at down to 0%. And then it's going to go on its refill course. So it's down to 50. So it should be on the next pass, it will actually run down completely. So this is just like a simulation to give you guys an idea of what would happen if it ran out of seed in the middle of its seeding course. So we're down to 25 now, 24. So it's going to turn around. And once it's done seeding the field, it's actually going to drive and go and refill. So let's see what happens here. This should be the last pass. And what will happen is you'll get, probably get a little notification here saying refilling seed or something at some point. All right, there, it's gonna continue and do its thing. Let's see what happens here. So this is at 22 liters, so it's at 0% as you can see down there. So it's gonna run out of C probably in this pass right here, and that's gonna go and do its thing. So let's see what happens. Here we're at five, four, three, two, one. It stops, it raises the cedar, it folds it, and then what should happen here is it's going to go back to that second course we recorded, which was the refill course. So what we did was we generated the seeding course first and then loaded the refill course second. And now it's going to drive through the refill course, so like so. So as you can see, it's going to drive to that first waypoint, which was just over here. And then it's going to continue on its way. And this will be at about street speed, I imagine. So there you go, it's going up to 40, 50 kilometers an hour. And if we go into our settings, our street speed is automatic. So just based on how fast we actually drove it, there we go, it's driving around here. It's gonna go up to our seating spot, which is just up around the corner here. And once it's refilled completely, it will continue where it left off. So let's see, it's gonna stop here. It's going to come up to the trigger which is right around here let's see if I can find it so there it is right up there and you, that's done with the console command so it's gonna stop as it's driving slow along here you'll see down here it's refilling right now and it's gonna refill until it's up to a hundred percent so let's say I have it set so it refills until let's say 60% so now it's at 60% it's gonna continue so obviously you want to set it at, the, at 100 if you're seeding because you don't want it to stop halfway through but potentially later on when we have more than one let's we have an air cart plus a seeder that'll be a nice combination because then you can set it to how much you want to refill it to and then it will continue so now it's going to go back to the starting of the course right up here and then it's going to go back to the last spot which is right here on the field so it's going to go back to the first point well, here's the last point of our refill course, and I should go, oh, let's just go straight from there, right to the refill spot, right for the spot where I left off, which is right here, like so. And then it's gonna continue seeding. There you have it. That is how you combine a seeding course with a refill course, just like that. All right, folks, that's it. That's, a com that's how you set those two up together. My name's Ian Ralps, and this has been another course by Tutorial, and I'll catch you guys later.